Yo, what's up guys? It's Miles here. Welcome back to another video. Today, I wanted to talk about phantom staking and staking phantom in the new F wallet. I did a tweet the other day when I said you should move your phantom off Binance uh, and stake it in the F wallet. So in today's video, I want to show you guys exactly how to stake it, run you through step by step and talk about some of the reasons why I think it is a good staking strategy. Let's get straight into it. So basically, I said if you have phantom on Binance, consider moving it to the F wallet and staking it. It's a much better for the network price action as Binance basically controls the liquidity plus you can now earn yield phantom was designed to be used on chain not sitting dormant on a centralized exchange and I do share this opinion I think that phantom sitting in Binance is a little bit dangerous because you have one market maker controlling the majority of liquidity phantom is an asset that is used to pay gas on the phantom opera chain so it should primarily be used on chain and I'm of the belief that it is much better for the network in general if people use phantom to validate the network the way phantom works is it needs phantom staked in validators in order to validate transactions on the network uh, which is basically how the consensus mechanism works so it's healthier for the network and it's healthier for users uh, if you are staking your phantom in something like an f wallet rather than keeping it dormant on a centralized exchange i've said it for a while and i'll say it again that it's not your keys not your crypto so you do want to have control of your own phantom uh, and one way of doing that is obviously by having it in your own wallet. So let's talk about how to get your Phantom off an exchange into the F wallet and how to start staking it directly. So this is what the Phantom F wallet looks like. This is F wallet version two. If you wanna connect a new wallet, it's just as simple as connecting a MetaMask. So you click up the top, you click add wallet, and then you can click on MetaMask, and this will connect your normal MetaMask wallet that you normally use with apps like SpookySwap uh, and Phantom ecosystem applications to the F wallet platform. You can click on MetaMask, then you can click on next, then you can click connect, and it will connect your wallet, uh, your MetaMask wallet to the F wallet. Now I'm gonna go into Binance now, and I'm gonna copy and paste my wallet address, so my MetaMask address into Binance, and I'm gonna withdraw my Phantom from Binance to my MetaMask. So I'm gonna go through the withdrawal process now, enter in my Phantom amount, click withdraw. Now I'm gonna enter in the codes, it's gonna send me verification codes to my verification app, my email, my phone number, whatever verification sources that you personally have enabled. I always recommend having two-factor authentication uh, on all your exchange accounts. I've now submitted my phantom withdrawal request and it will say awaiting approval. Uh, it says this can take 12 hours, but honestly, usually it takes just a couple of minutes. So I will cut to when I have my phantom in my wallet. So now you can see I have my phantom in my wallet. Now what you do is you click stake now under the staking tab of the F wallet and then it will bring up how much you would like to delegate. I'll be delegating 68 phantom right now and now the choice is to select a validator node. So you want to select a validator node which is reputable and one which has a good history of paying out rewards. Uh, you can do so by sorting by ID, the ID number one, so the lower IDs will be the older validators and the most recent IDs will be newer validators. Now by staking to a validator you're not putting your funds at risk. You can just click any one of the validators validators that you would like to pick. I'll personally be going for number one uh, for the example of this video, which is the original phantom validator. And you can delegate your phantom. So I'm delegating 68 phantom and I'm clicking stake and continue to lock up. Now what it will do is it will prompt a transaction on my MetaMask, which I'll click confirm. This will confirm the transaction. Uh, the phantom network is very fast. So this should process within a matter of seconds. The transaction is complete. And now you have a choice of how long you want to lock up your phantom phantom for and depending on how long you lock up for you will get a lower or a higher APR so the stake as you go option here means that you get a 4.2% APR uh, but that means you have control over your phantom so you can deposit and withdraw whenever you want on the fluids re on the fluid rewards tab you can lock your phantom up for longer uh, and earn a higher APR but this means that you're locking up your phantom for a certain amount of time so I'm going to lock up for 58 days which is the max lockup right Right now I'm gonna click lock up and continue uh, this will prompt another transaction on your MetaMask wallet you can click confirm and it will show you here your estimated APR which validator that you stake to the delegation amount and the lockup period so if we click done you can see in a portal here what your active delegations are 
You can see under my active delegations that I have Phantom that is locked up uh, for 57 days. The locked amount says 134 because I did a tester before I did the example that I showed you guys. You can see here how long you're staked for, how much is staked, and how much free space there is on the validator. If you click undelegate, uh, you can unlock and claim your rewards and undelegate your stake. Uh, note that this will cost a fee and you'll also have to wait seven days to get your Phantom back uh, from undelegating. So if you unlock early, you will lose a part of your rewards but just to show you how to do this you'd click unlock and claim uh, you'd process it on your metamask and then you'd select how many phantom you would like to undelegate now the phantom rewards aren't great on the f wallet uh, because really it is an alternative in my opinion to keeping it in a binance so you are better keeping it in the f wallet earning a few percent per year uh, than, you are, than you are keeping it in a centralized exchange, one for security reasons and two for the health of the network as a whole. But let's explore an option for you to earn some better yield if you'd like to be a little bit more degen in the Phantom ecosystem. So there's a website called Tarot, which is a borrowing lending protocol on the Phantom network. And this is home to some of the best single staking yields on Phantom. So if you click default sort, you can sort by APR. If you click on Phantom, supply APR, it will show you the pools that are paying the highest APR for single staking Phantom. So if we go through the pools here, we can see that in the Phantom MIM pool, you're earning 37.9% on your Phantom. For Phantom Frax, you're earning 37% as well. So supplying your Phantom to these pools is very simple. You click on one of the pools, you click lend, then you can supply your Phantom uh, and click how much Phantom you want to supply. And this will then enable you to earn earn 37% on your phantom. But there is a couple of things to note. Firstly, when you're looking at tarot, remember it is a borrowing and a lending market, meaning that there's a couple of factors at play. The first factor is the TVL. So in a pool like Phantom Mim, it's got a quite low amount of LP deposited at $70,000. This means that as more funds are deposited, the yields will likely drop. So we often see on tarot that you have to be quite adaptive with where you're deploying your phantom because the yields will fluctuate quite regularly. So you have a 37% APR here. But this pool, this Phantom Frax pool, has a slightly higher LP amount, which I think is better. Usually, the higher the LP, the safer uh, the play is. So if I scroll through here and I look for the best risk reward option right now, it's probably this Phantom T share pool uh, at 29%, because that has 2.8 million dollars deposited uh, at 29% is a pretty good deal, because it's unlikely that the utilization rate here will be swayed too heavily by a certain amount of LP being deposited. Remember the utilization rate represents the amount of phantom that is being utilized on the borrow side relative to the amount that's being lent to the protocol. So the higher the utilization rate, the riskier it is. The lower utilization rate, the less risky it is. So we always want to look for a utilization rate that is under 90%. Uh, this pool phantom t-share here looks pretty good with an 82% utilization and a 29% supply APR. But there's other good options as well. I'm always looking for a higher TVL than at least 100,000. Uh, we got 22% on Phantom Link, on Spooky, uh, LQDR Phantom at 200k deposited is 19%. So probably the Phantom T-share pool is the best on here, but you've got, you've got multiple options depending on where you want to deposit. Just remember that the rates often fluctuate. So you want to be adaptive with where you're depositing. So you may need to kind of hop farms a little bit. So maybe every couple of weeks, take some phantom out, uh, redeploy in a new pool, etc. But I do like tarot for single staking phantom. This video isn't about LP staking. It's all about single staking because that is a lower risk form of staking. But obviously the lowest risk of staking is going to be in the F wallet guys. And that is what I would recommend to the majority of people that want to keep their phantom safe. So want an alternative to keeping it in a centralized exchange, but also want to earn a little bit of yield. Obviously you can do so in the F wallet here. Guys, if this is isn't really about earning yield. This is more about providing health to the Phantom Network uh, and providing safety to holding your Phantom yourself. So make sure you smash a like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for more content if you are not already subscribed. I will see you in the next one. I hope this video was helpful. Peace out.